And wow. here we go. This is Flash and Grammy at the dork table. I'm doing the background music for you while you're doing your thing. It's <laughs> enough. At the dork <laughs> table. <laughs> I'm, I'm, dirt, 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 dirt. I listen oh, to thanks. instructions very well. Even Rob said enough. Come on, stop. <laughs> At the dork <laughs> table on this Saturday, the 23rd of May, 2020. I'll bet you guys didn't think the year would go this far, huh? <laughs> and Mary's trying to end the show before it starts. But... No, I'm just a dirt, a dirt, a dirt, a dirt, a We know. <laughs> I, I need giggles today. Anyway, <laughs> thanks. Hey, we got us a thumbs up. Grimner, so we know we're broadcasting to the free world out there. Thanks a lot, Grim. Appreciate the place to go to be funny with Miss Mary on Saturday. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so we got bots and bodies to uh, mention if you want to. You yeah, want to we got 37 of them in here in the chat I'm, right now. I'm going to make fun right of them. The top. Here we go. I'm going to make, no, make fun of them. That's it. Do what? Okay. Your wife may not find you handsome, but she can find you handy. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Um, thanks, Chloe. <laughs> oh, I hear a harmonica in the background. I mean, a harmonica. Barman is right up top. He's hey, the most barman. In the whole wide oh, world. Fucking world. Closely followed by Beetle. Beetle. Beetle, Beetle says, Squash. I got a sex education earlier today. And I tried not uh -oh. to go there, Beetle. I went more along the lines of being an undocumented invader. Squash the in Beetle. Scientism. Uh -oh. In any case, I squished him like a bug and he made a Squish. crunchy noise. Yeah, like a bug. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> Do you ever watch Men in Black? Fuck oh, yeah, was that your on. auntie? Uh, uh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> the bug was just going insane. Yeah. 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 I also see yeah. Grimner, the RLS hey, Grim. god, don't you Grim. know? Yes, yeah. we are live, Beetle. Live. Beetle, Beetle, Beetle. It's alive! Oh. <laughs> hey, Moose Goyle, how you doing, woman? <laughs> I also see the lovely Miss Kate is here. She sure is the full torn, uh, tornado genus. Oh, mm. a dernator, a dernator. Well, hello, rascal. You went up here? Come on, baby girl. Come on. I yeah. know you missed your sissy yeah, poo. Yeah, probably does. Yeah. I also see Anti is here. Hey, Anti. How you doing? <coughs> God bless you. And looky there, we got the Asmodeus Asmo is also in the chat, as well as the lovely Psycholo. Hey, Psycholo. How you doing? Jeez. And looky there. Away. Miss Dayom Van Meter is also Dayom. in the chat as well as, hey, look, Flash, somebody is here. Hey, it's me. Flash. There ah! I am. Hello. The figure of the universe. <laughs> okay, I don't do it near as well as Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still here, so there you go. Freddie's out there in the universe now. Fred I also is see dead. a Rumpy Work is here as well as Rumpy Work. Uh, no, he's like the double mint gum kind of thing going on. I'm here, kind of, sort of. If, if you hear this weird snoring noise, it's yeah. because I'm running on lack of sleep today. But, oh, yeah. weird it's okay. snoring noise. Yeah. It's, yes, it's all good. It's not, well, it might be that I'm making floorboards creak, but if I'm just sitting here, how do I do that? Moving along, I also see Meisterbrower is here. Hey, Woody, how you doing? And Prince. The prince. If it's in prince, I don't want to know about it. I also see Rob Weiss is here. Hey, Rob Weiss, did you fire up the bubbler and I just did Oh, good Lord. That sounded painful. I see trust no one is here as well. As well as the lovely Miss Vanna White, the love turner of the RLM channel. Yeah. yeah, she's dorkular. She's dorkular. Thank you, Rob Thank you, Rob Work. And, sure. Yeah, on. and Weather Dork is following right behind Vanna White because Weather is trying to blow some wind up her skirt <laughs> so he's top peak. We've got a woodman here, too. Hey, Woody. we got double boots going on. 
Uh-oh. See, that's what wood. That's what Weather Dork gets when he can blow up that skirt. He gets a Woody. <laughs> Moving along, it's the Phantom. The it's Phantom. the Phantom. And Anti with an underscore. Anti has a tail. Anti, you have a tail. Is it one of those wonderful tails that you can grab things with? Oh, that would be really cool. Like a monkey. That would be, oh. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> I was a monkey's uncle for a while there because yeah. I had my, my nieces and nephews convinced that I was an uncle, not an aunt, because I had a nephew first. And then I have a niece that her nickname for the longest time was Monkey, and she would tell everybody, that's my, my uncle, and I'm Monkey. And just laugh. She thought it was so funny. Because inside <laughs> jokes are always funny, Miss Mary. Yes, they are. And our family is odd. Full of inside Moving along. jokes. <laughs> Jack full of inside jokes. <clears throat> ah, no. We got CC66 in the chat as well as no, Toscura. The lovely Miss Chloe is here. And looky there, some cyborgian noodliness. Mm-hmm. May you be touched by the cyborgian noodliness no, of it all. I don't want to be no, touched. you don't want to be touched by no. a cyborg? No. Oh, Actually, no. I'm not into all that AI stuff. That's kind of creepy. But I like yeah. the name, but no. Keep your cyborgian shit off me. <laughs> yeah, no See doubt. the sign? Yeah. It says so right there on the sign. I don't want no cyborg noodle sign. <laughs> that's just... That's like, ew, that would gunk up my computer and everything. I've been trying to, <laughs> I've been trying to be a financial advisor on the Real Liberty Media lately. And advising... You have? Yeah, because see, in the future, there's going to be a new market of entertainment. And I have a feeling that jump banners and rope are going to be big sellers. Oh, <laughs> hey, I saw a sign the other day. Um, sign your congressman up now for free bungee jumps. No strings attached. I'm telling you, cool. hey, they're going to push. Like they're going, yeah, they're going to push until the, the wacko doodle with the pop gun comes out and makes noise. And then they're yeah, gonna that's call what it. They want. Yeah, they're gonna call that the first shot, and then they're gonna shoot somebody. Yeah. In, in defense you know, the, of a pop gun. Yeah. Then they're going to be obvious, obvious <sighs> martial uh, law. Oh wait, 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 wait. You started it. Okay. Look. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make any difference that we stabbed you so many times that you're bleeding all over the place. Hey, you bled on my shirt, and now you're gonna have to pay dry cleaning bill. Damn See what it. I did. <laughs> I know. See what you started. Even. <laughs> E-man. We have an E-man. And M. Sid is also here. And a grommet, one of those little eye holes on a shoe. I don't know. I'm making this shit up as I go along. Can you tell? I, can I also see JJ. JJ Zep. Funny Scotland. fellow up in Scotland. Scotland. See, Weather Dork really needs to work on his aim because apparently when he blows that gust of <laughs> wind, it makes. JJ's skirt go up. Um, <clears throat> Kiss is also in the chat, as well as Matt WJ two thousand and two. Got some papa papa pom sauce. That's what leaks out of uh, cyborg noodles. Just for those that don't know, sock puppet. Hi sock, how you doing? Got a smock ass in the chat, as well as the holiest Roger ever. Abbar and unclear Rokuro. Unclear Rokuro. Does that mean your Roku your Roku thingy don't work right? Don't, or you got snow on the screen? I something don't like that? want to know the answer to that question. <laughs> I don't either. Because mm-hmm. if you got snow on the screen and you got cyborg noodles you can't and, make and me. palm sauce around, it's no. probably palm sauce on the screen from that Stop. cyborg noodle. <laughs> I don't want to know. Uh, you're, you're damaging my innocence now, dear. Anyway, hey, 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 hey. We, but you were on a rant. During the thing that I liked. But I interrupted oh. your rant so you could finish the haze. Ah. But you were on a rant. Right. Because you know something's coming up in society, coming up to the surface, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh. it's like a boil coming to a head. And then back, because when it blows, ew. Today, gross. Today's episode of The Dork Table is going to be called, We Aren't Getting Enough. And then me and Mary wanted to chitter chatter a little bit about the positive and the negative. <laughs> this ought to be a, wow. 
I'm positive that there's some negative energy out there. <laughs> I keep getting told it's me, but I, I don't know. Mm. And, you know, when you really stop and think about it, I think positive and negative are actually perspectives. You know, how individuals look at things. Because, I mean, a volcanic eruption is like a negative because, dude, look at all the destruction. And yet, you go back a couple of years later, look at all the new growth and all the way cool things and critters coming back. So then it becomes a positive. So positive and negative. Are they a matter of perspective? I don't know. You seem Should we to talk know. about this? You seem to I know. know. <laughs> You just told well, me you knew. <laughs> I know. Well, it's know. just like, you know, it's like forest fires. <laughs> forest fires are a negative I'm while you're in the middle of it. But I'm afterwards, all that, all those nutrients get into the soil yeah. and it clears out all that undergrowth and all of that dead material at the bottom yeah. that has now been burned and, and go, goes down into the soil <laughs> to add nutrients. So you have new growth that comes up even stronger than ever. And maybe it burns off some damn toxins, too. So right. it's the negative, but it's a positive. Well, so. that's because you got your government and clashing with nature because nature won't work on a schedule that's comfortable for government. So government just destroys everything in its fucking path and calls it progress. Oh, yeah. And here we sit like a bunch of chimpanzees burning oil in 2020. See, and I was, as soon as you said, as, and here we sit, yeah. my mind finished it, broken hearted, came to shit, and only car was <laughs> Oh, how cliche of you. Ooh. I know, but you know, a lot wow. of times that's all it is. You just have a, you're just a windbag. Wow. No solid, no substance, just blowing that intestinal kiss. I'm not saying you particularly. You're not. Well, it sounds like you there. are. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't know if you're just a windbag. I don't know. <laughs> circles that you always blow intestinal kisses at you. Is there no yeah. substance involved? Wow. <laughs> I just want to know. No, you, Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. Asking for a friend. I love that whenever I see that. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, right. Like you have one. Oh, sorry. Wow. I channeled my inner Don Rickles for a minute there. I'm telling you. <laughs> so, who are you mad at today? I'm I'm really not. I'm I'm sleep deprived. Oh, all right. Because <laughs> I have been reading about the most horrendous uh, changes coming to the motherland in the not too distant future, and in some places, I assume it will be tolerated and uh, and. People will love it, and in other places, people will go, hey, you hear this thing, this is a gun. I'm loading it. If you don't leave, I'm shooting you. And that's what the system seems to be offering the public. Yeah. Well, mm, the system is um, messed. But... Well, you're in it, so I'm looking on it from thousands of miles away, so I don't have any physical way to prove nothing I said. My my stuff would just be repeating what the Americans tell me. So why don't you do the American part, and I'll do the where I'm at part. Well, from what little I have paid attention to, mm -hmm. which is basically back to that positive-negative, if you... Pay attention to the negative shit. You'll see more of it. And I don't like seeing it. So, therefore, I don't pay that much attention to it because where you focus is what you see. So, I try and focus on people that are offering solutions and stuff. But, yes, there are an awful lot of things coming down the pipe, yeah. as some people yeah. say, or coming down the pike, as yeah. we say out here, because turnpike. But, pike, kike, however pike. you look at it. Coming down the kike. I just changed yeah. it for everybody. You're welcome. Oh, coming down the kike. Whee! That's going to hurt. That'll leave a mark. You know. Skid ooh. mark. Hey, and <laughs> that's because that's someone that had some substance behind them. But <laughs> Positive sure. versus negative on the door table. You know, yeah. Here we are talking about coming down the pipe and coming down the pike. And damn, I clicked on Twitter and that was the first thing I saw. Whew! Yeah, this is what they're wanting to tell you. Just slide on down that rainbow chute, and you'll just love it. <laughs> Honest, it'll be a surprise ending. Trust me. <laughs> we're we're volunteering you <laughs> for something, oh, which is yeah. what a lot of people are doing. Is they're they're being and what they don't realize they're being volunteered to be guinea pigs, and they're lining up for it. They're going, ooh, 
Ooh, it's a vaccine that's going to save us from those nasty no You know, the, that the mask that you wear as a little, you know, like your little comfy blankie or whatever. Mm. You wear that mask on your face, not realizing that what you're trying to stop is like 50 times smaller yeah. than the openings in that mask. And if you actually could stop that stuff, have a mask that stop that stuff, you'd suffocate. But I digress. Right. In any case, I know. There's all these people out there that yeah. are saying that, that, you know, and yes, I know, it's a pandemic. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. it's a pandemic. Yeah. Of course. And there was things back in 2017 that, you know, were leading up to this. Uh, what's his name? Fauci had said something about Trump is going to be hit with a surprise pandemic. Yeah, well. How is it surprise uh, if you're ready for it? That's like expecting the unexpected. Uh, it's not the unexpected if you're inspe- expecting it. Uh, but, you know, so the, this stuff has been in the works. And actually, yeah, it's yeah. been in the works a hell of a lot longer than oh, just sure, three years ago. Oh, sure. Yeah. But last year, someone. No, yeah, 2019. Someone made a prediction that the uh, the American economy would crash September 19th of this year. Why are you giving it so long? That's my first question. It's like it hasn't already. Oh yeah, that's when people notice it. Okay, gotcha. Because it takes a while for some people, slow learners. But this is all based on that whole what they're doing is and they're incrementally crashing it. Oh, you're not an essential worker. You must stay home. Mm-hmm. Oh, but these people are essential workers. So you have medical personnel that are essential workers and grocery store clerks that are essential workers and car hops. Those are the essential workers of the world. Mm-hmm. Everybody else sit your ass at home and do nothing but get fat. Okay. And it's like, okay, so now you got all these people on unemployment. Mm-hmm. Well, the unemployment pays $600 a week, or that's one figure that I saw last week, $600 a week for unemployment. Shit, I didn't make that when I was working. Some bitch. You know, before ta- or after taxes, I didn't make that when I was working. And a lot of people aren't wanting to go back to work. So they're they're perpetuating the system. They're feeding the system. And the whole time these people are pointing these things out, they're going, but it's not your fault. It's not your fault because you're just dealing with what you've got. And you're just trying to feed your family. And then, and then they say, oh, but wait, all you people that are unemployed, all of you non-essential workers that are unemployed, Guess what? We have something for you to do, and we'll pay you good. I mean, last link I saw, starting salary or starting pay is seventeen twenty-five an hour to contact trace people. So, and these are people. All you have to have is a GED or high school education, and you too can be a contact tracer. And then you can also test the medical people who were essential workers. So we can't have them because they actually know stuff about, you know, like some of them do, human body, vaccines, medicine, and are actually vocal about it. And they'll go, wait a minute, wait a minute, and they'll start questioning the authorita. Yeah. So then you have all these people with their high school diplomas and their clipboards or their, their yeah. tablets. W- wait and they're minute. going around saying, you're pre-COVID. Right. But wait, wait, wait. H- has this already been happening or is this oh yeah they they are hiring contact tracers right now so they're already yeah. sending them out into the real physical world they are in they are hiring and setting up training right oh now. so they haven't really got anything happen it's just stories no not out there yet but no. the process mm-hmm. of this contact tracer is once they get out yeah. there once they get deployed yeah they're planning on having them test five million people a day, which means you're going to have to have a freaking army of contact tracers. Or yeah, as um, the observation deck calls it, the pharma army. Wow. So they're going to call the herd? Ooh, yes, they will, they will call the herd. Yeah. And the, the tests will either say you're pre-symptomatic, which is healthy, yeah. or asymptomatic, which is healthy, yeah. or you've got it. But they don't tell you it, which one you are. They just say, oh, tested positive. 
because yeah, well they, because they they've got a test that everybody's going to test positive that takes the test. Doesn't matter if and, you've got it or don't. It's going to test positive. Trust me. Well, yeah. And part of the reason why it's going to test positive is because the testing kits are contaminated with COVID virus. It is financially sound business practice to work in this unethical fashion because, well, well because my people is forgiven for all the bullshit we do to everybody else. Everybody goes, that's okay. My brother, the Jew. <laughs> it's an excellent business plan. Yeah, we're, a way of creating hmm. more and more demand for what you have to offer, even if what you have to offer doesn't even have the substance to leave a skid mark in your undies. Bah! Ooh. I digress. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a good degreaser, too. Let me tell you. I know. Took the grease I'm, right I'm, out of my sail. <laughs> Well, I'm, I mean, you told me to go off on a tangent. And this yeah. is these are the things that I'm hearing, okay. you know, and seeing in articles and op-eds mm-hmm. and, and seeing on social media networks where mm-hmm. people, when I post something out there, mm-hmm. I actually got called a novel idiot the other day on Twitter. And it was mm-hmm. like, dude, Twitter. I have reached the elevation of novel idiot. Twitter. And you know why I got called a novel idiot? Oh, because I don't know. I, I commented on something mm-hmm. and I said, Oh, like as if coronavirus or COVID nineteen is mm-hmm. something new. No, mm-hmm. it's not something new. But wait, uh, they're calling it novel. It's novel. not even a novel. It's uh, not even a short story. Oh, it's like two sentences. That's <sighs> it. But that, it worked. That little, that little comment right there earned me a mm-hmm. novel idiot tag, and it's like booyah, booyah. Yeah. I must have tweaked somebody. All right, I got to mm-hmm. I got to somebody's field. When I was talking to this crazy conspiracy nonsense to you back in January, you didn't seem too shocked by the idea then any more than you do now. But no, and and actually to me it's not hmm. it's not so much the plan that was in place or cuz I could I got a vivid imagination. Mm. I could see a hell of a plan mm. to market more pharmaceuticals, whether oh, yeah. it be vaccines Ooh, or baby. the pills. Yeah. You know, either way, Got I saw volumes. how they could. Wow, this can be really profitable for us, not only financially but in um, power yeah. and control as well. So I saw all that coming down the pike, and I thought, oh, Lord, mm. well, people won't fall for that shit, and then people let me down. You know, it's one of those, I used to be people person until people ruined it for me. Ow. You know, you, you sound know, I, like Grim. I need, well, I need that shirt. My brother has it, and I may have to steal it from him or have my daughter make one for me. And and I was but, and I was mocked all those years for not learning the language of the people, right? Uh-huh. And, and to this day, it benefits me more to not be able to speak Danish than it ever would to learn it. Yeah. In strange way. Well, because, you know, I, I've lived here a long time now, considering. So they know I'm going to be here. But yeah, I don't go trying to turn them into Americans. We just speak English in public. Yeah. yeah. But treat the Danes hey, like... cowboy cat. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's right. Yelling in my ear always makes it a whole lot better for them to read it. I'm, I'm sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if it bounces around inside your head a while, then everybody else will hear the reverberation and they'll go, oh, hey, hey, hey. No, but he he Move may. Along. Yeah, but he may not be able to hear you yet. So you're yelling, hey, CT is real helpful. <laughs> but he, he's saying hi in the chat. Yeah, in the chat, you maniac. Not in my headphones. <laughs> like <laughs> you do it. Wow. Cirque does the same thing. <laughs> Sit right next to me and yell so loud I can hear it through the headphones. I go, wow. Whee! I'm telling you, see, <laughs> this yeah. positive and, and negative stuff, it's all a matter of how you look at it. Cause, yes, it is. Yeah, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Yeah. And, you know, all of this negative stuff that, mm-hmm. that is out there and all of these plots and schemes and, and yeah. evil genius stuff. Actually. Yeah, it's really movie-like, isn't it? It's like watching... Yeah. What's that thing that Doctor Who? Or, I've never seen it, but I've, a lot of uh, sci-fi fans or something on my uh, 
on sites were all about this Doctor Who or something. Out of the UK. I've, I've seen some of the Doctor Who, but I'm you know, it wasn't enough to make me. I, I'd much rather watch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but that's just Oh, me, me too. Okay. But I like the old version from the 70s. The yeah. one that was really done poorly. <laughs> yes, although I great. really, really, really enjoyed the movie, and mm-hmm. I got made my grandkids watch it, and they had to rewind umpteen zillion times well, when they were on that planet that every time you say, I think, mm-hmm. a shovel would come up and smack them in the face. They loved that part. My grandkids are sadistic little buggers, mm-hmm. but they thought it was hilarious. Wild E. Coyote. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. Yesterday, okay. Mm-hmm. I have what? a cell phone plan. Breathe. My husband has a cell phone plan. Yeah. And we decided to combine. And I said, okay, mine is really shitty. Yeah. And so I'm going over to yours. So we went yeah. to the place to get my phone transferred over to his cell phone plan. Yeah. And and the guy puts my chair right on top of an X on the floor. Uh-huh. And I scooched my chair away from the X. Uh-huh. And he kind of looked at me and he said, um, those are, that's you know social distancing, and I said I don't care. There's an X <laughs> on the floor. I have watched Roadrunner and Coyote cartoons. I know what happens when there's an X on the floor, Acme. and that just pretty much set the tone for the rest of the time we were there. He just sat there and just every once in a while he'd look over and then he'd notice the X on the floor behind my chair, and he'd just shake his head and laugh. <laughs> Cause they Even got, the gal at the next desk was laughing her butt on yeah, that. So. But people are going to get pressured by their upper echelon idiots to perform like trained seals or we'll replace you with another seal. Yeah, but you know what was really cool? Not hmm. a single person in that place had a mask on. Not a single one. Okay, well, there's no reason to. Uh, outside of I this, know, I was impressed. People are just, how lame you'd have to be to fall for this is what I'm saying. <sighs> but see, that's right. where if, and that's why it's been such a long process to mm. get people here. Because mm. you know, way back when we were kids, you and I were kids, which mm. is a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah. At least chronologically, yeah. I'm still a kid in my yeah. head. But chronologically, when we were kids, Creek. and we and we got what three vaccines, and even those were like I don't remember my it. Mom, mm-hmm. Well. I remember getting the thing that gave you that weird scar on your arm. We got that at school. No, I don't have that. See, I think I and was. Then I was. Uh, I remember getting the sugar cube thing, and I think I remember uh, getting one other. No, I might have spent a year too or uh, too young. You know, I came in the year after all that uh, something. I don't know. I never got nothing at school. Uh, well, or see, I, they opted out. I think my parents had the right at the time when I was young know, to opt out. My well, it was one of those things that, you know, you had to pay for it. And I think the reason mm. why we got them that year was because my dad went to work at the post office mm. and he had excellent health insurance and that was mm. covered by the health insurance. That's the only reason why we got them that time. Mm. So, but... You know, I remember way back in the day and mom saying, you know, I don't know why you need this, but the insurance is going to cover it. Hmm. So, you know, whatever. But nowadays, you know, and and even back then, people had chicken pox parties. You know, if a kid got chicken pox, Hmm. oh, so and so is not in school because they have chicken pox. Next thing you know, moms are calling them from all over town. Can I bring my child over and expose them so that they can get that over with? The good old days. Yeah. Hey. Nowadays, it's oh my god, oh my mm-hmm. god, panic, panic, panic. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in there, that gradual transition, the heating up of the water of all the frogs, frogs in the pot. Yeah. It got to the point where the frogs are now freaking out, but they ain't smart enough to jump out of the pot. They're just sitting there freaking out. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's a germ. Oh, shit. You dropped your sandwich in the dirt. Pick it up, knock the chunks off, and eat it. Well, Good right. God. But we're dealing with people that have been raised by TV and film, yes. you know, movies. Yeah. And just yeah. such bullshit they stamp education across. When it, It's just been proven to be a lot of crap. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. we learned it's about... All- 
It's why it's called programming and yeah, why it's right. television. Well, we learned so, all about Edison, but didn't get two sentences about Tesla. Oh, yeah. And here we are now, and Tesla's long forgotten and replaced with a freaking car. You know, a brand name of yet, a fucking car. If you did hear something about Tesla, oh, he was just Edison's apprentice. You wow. know, so it was just a dismissive thing. No, 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 no. He wow. Well, technically, it's it's all it's in perspective. Technically, yeah. that's how he got his visa. Yeah, was to be Edison's yeah. apprentice. But, but he, was he way... outshined Edison drastically. Hey, you know what? When you clean your toilet bowl at every whatever, you outshine Edison too. <laughs> well, yeah, this there is. Not, that. I mean, it's like this Einstein character. Some people in history were promoted by bigger money. Oh, yes. And when I found that out, I was like, oh, man. So here I am, right? And I look at the world, and I, I just don't take it serious. It's too much. See, and Einstein, yeah. I got into a little hmm. cybernetic tete-a-tete with someone the other day, and they were... They were throwing out all this, but science is settled. And I just finally, I couldn't stand it anymore. Sure. And I said, science is never settled. That's, that's the definition of science. It is never settled because science is always questioning. Well, Einstein and the theory of relativity. And uh, I said, yeah, you know why it's called a theory? Because yeah. it hasn't been proven yet. It's still a theory. Just like gravity, gravity, the theory of gravity. It has not been actually proven yet. And gravity is the result of other forces. So it's not necessarily that it's gravity. Gra gravity is the result. It's just like when a doctor writes you a prescription for high blood pressure. The high blood pressure is a result of something else. Putting we up with the doctor. We live in a society doctor. that is just too focused on this end result. Yeah, putting up know, with the doctor raises your blood pressure. Yeah. I mean, it's it. Mm. They know it. It's not like a secret. Come on. Oh no, it's but not they, a secret. But they they might not know why they're doing these things, but they're doing them for money. So whatever, I got advised way back in my life. <laughs> I got so lucky. So, and I took it serious. The guy told me, he says, uh, "You know what? Don't ever do something for money that you're not willing to do for free. You're going to find out." That was the end of yeah. Don, Don said that. And he goes, yeah, you'll find out. And that was all he said. Never brought it up another time. But I still that's remember. That's excellent advice. And I, but see, that's to me. It was such a good thing to say at the time to me. I still remember it. I remember who told it to me on top of it. And as you age, you tend to forget names and faces. And, you know, ideas vanish. You can look for them, but you got to know what you're looking for. You're just not going to randomly run into old ideas. Yeah. So, well, this memory, age, positive, negative, the science is never settled stuff. It, everybody's got their perspective. and It's all based on the input that was put into you to decipher the shit you encounter. Mm -hmm. However you call yeah. it. See it. True. Hear it. Read it. Um, what it. These things yeah, are... Yeah, my perspective will never be the same as anybody else's because what, what right, I went right, through and right. my experiences to get me to this perspective, no one else has ever had those exact same experiences but, in yeah, the same manner I have. So and, nobody will ever have the same, same right, perspective. But, but yet you have these crazy people that are claiming things are solid as fuck. They'll never change. This is the way they are. This is the way they'll always be. And then 20 years go by, and they go, well, we we were off a little bit. <laughs> How much? All of it. <laughs> Everything's yeah. constantly fucking changing. We don't know why, but we keep trying to make up a story that everybody will believe. Oh, yeah. And, and, yeah. and lately, what was it? Farmer mm. read to me the other day. Mm. NASA has found a universe or something mm. where time runs backwards. How do they know that? Who writes this bullshit? Okay, so they are actually, they found actual proof now of Orc. Because if anybody watched Mork from Orc or Mork and Mindy back in the day, 
And when Mark and Mindy, back when it was really going downhill, Mark and Mindy were married and they had a baby. Oh, and Jonathan wow. Winters was a baby. Oh. So you start out old and you get younger. <laughs> Obviously, Orc is from that universe where time runs backwards. Mm-hmm. Obviously. And somebody watched some Mork and Mindy reruns and went, hey, mm-hmm. I can write a paper for uh-huh. NASA. And we can point at some obscure spot in the sky and say, there, right there, <laughs> right there is a universe where Orc is from and time <laughs> runs backwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't I, you can't disprove it, so there you go. Uh, well, yeah. That's not how science works, and that's that seems to be the, the model for the 20th century is well, you can't prove it's not true. Well, of course not, yeah. but you got to be a certain level of intelligence to consider it as a possibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like uh like these politicians they got all over the United States and Europe and Scandinavia, you name it, they're there. Russia, Saudi Arabia, everybody's got their their front men, their bankers' front men. And, well, some countries are doing worse than others right now. True. Some states, me and Cirque were talking about this. We, We don't, between the two of us, understand this separately is how can the states all be in conflict with each other, but yet their title is the United States? <laughs> but if, if you can read it on the on the chat, if people may be joking about it, but most of them aren't. Fuck Texas, blah, 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 blah. Fuck New York, blah, 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 blah. Fuck California, you know, and whatever state you're not in, it's fuck the other 49. So oh, where, yeah. where does the United Park come in? <laughs> Well, you know, it's like these people that they sleep in separate bedrooms. They've been married for 40 some odd years. And when you ask them, well, why don't you just get a divorce? Well, we're staying together for the children. For the children. Oh, yeah. Okay, the children are in their 30s now. Trying to figure out a way to kill both of you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Take the money and run. For the children. They're insufferable. Can't stand either one of them. Don't leave me alone. Yeah, it's that's what it is. I really think it is a marriage that everybody's sleeping in separate bedrooms. And they just flat ass, oh, it's because he snores too loud. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't ever fluff the covers. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, no. I hate to ask you such a horrible question, but I just had one pop up. You ready for a, a dork table horrid question? Sure. Go okay. for it. Out of you know, out of the two of us, you're the one in the, in the free world, and I'm the one in the uh, the commie. Um, yeah, shit the hole. commie pinko faggot yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm living in the shithole, and you're living in America, the paradise, the home of the brave, and all that. I'm living the dream. Right. But in order to live the dream, you've got to be asleep. Thank you, George Carlin, for that. Mm-hmm. Right, but still, because you're living in such a smaller community kind of lifestyle, right? Mm-hmm. It is much better than people that are living in the city, I would say. Yes. All right. Yes. So the further away from the city you are, the less um, discomfort you're going to feel from all the corruption happening. Shutdowns yes. and closures and all this. This is a fucking rerun of the 1920s with a different story to explain it. Yeah. This is bankers. Yeah. This, they're going to go out there and they're going to buy up all this shit people had to abandon because of the coronavirus. They're going to buy it yeah. for 10 cents on the fucking dollar at auction. And then it's going to. It'll be less than that. They'll spend less than that. Okay. Trust me. I'm making a point. And then, yeah. they, then it's going to reopen, maybe a, with a name that's original, but the people that really own it are going to be the same six fucking corporations. That's if people don't pull their heads out of their asses. And do what? And, and do what? It, and just say, fuck you. And do what? And recreate the mess that got them where they are right now because things got too big and it can't be managed from 3,000 miles to fuck away. It's impossible. Well, that's true. It can't be managed from that far away. And mm-hmm. And once people start realizing that, hey, we don't need that shit. We're doing just fine here. If we just work with each other, we will do just fine. We don't need that shit. And just start, you know, doing the smaller communities. And 
I know a lot of people go, oh, the Ubuntu movement, uh, you know, cashless society, whatever. But that was what he was talking about is the smaller communities where you become self-sufficient. And if you are not self-sufficient, you have good trade relations with the next community or however it works out. But you be a small community. You manage your business. Everybody is involved in it. Everybody has their say. There isn't any of this. Well, that's just not very fair. Fair doesn't come into the equation. It's is it right or is it not right. That's what comes into the equation. Mm. And the way you decide if something is right or not mm. is if you don't want it done to you, mm. then you don't do it to someone else. So that's that's how that is it right kind of thing works. You got to be a little empathic with this shit. Mm. But you set an example and other communities will see that example and they go, whoa, how'd you do that? And then they do it their way. And no two communities will be the same. This big conglomeration, this central banking, mm. it never works. Mm. Never works. Well, for Every a few hundred years. Every civilization throughout history mm. or known history, okay. what we've been told is history. Every civilization, when it gets too big, too centralized with those calling the shots wow. and everybody else on the outside being the peons doing all the work, it collapses because the peons eventually go, fuck you. We're well, doing the work just fine. We'll keep our shit. But you're only looking at the nasty side of it. <laughs> but, you know, that's a that's a lesson. You know, it's one of those things where you go, okay, I can see this coming down the road. And that's where 2020 hindsight is good for you. Because just like with all this corona crap, those people that are out there going, wait a minute, wait a minute. Even if they're not real sure what they're saying, wait a minute about, they're having that moment where they're going, something ain't right here. And so they start making decisions on their own. And once people start making decisions on their own that do not adversely affect anyone else, you know, except for that central control, whatever, once they start doing that, start thinking on their own, that's the downfall of the centralized hmm. because the centralized just plain does not have the manpower to control the masses. It just doesn't, not unless it does a scorched earth thing. Hmm. And I don't think they'll be able to pull that crap off either. Hmm. So to me, sometimes you have to get to this ugly, ugly, ugly point of now we're going to start coming to your door and we're going to inject you with something that's going to change your DNA and put a chip in you so we can track your sorry ass as well. And that chip's going to be so small that you won't be able to surgically remove it. You're just screwed. When mm. it gets to that point, you know, mm. people are starting to see that this is in what they're planning. Then they go, uh-uh, uh-uh. And they start waking up. And that's when a negative becomes a positive because that negative has kicked into gear the fight or flight mode that is the survival thing and and the I ain't falling for this crap. Wait a minute, and then they start seeing all of the other little dominoes that led to this point, and so they just remove themselves from that chain of dominoes, and it stops the rest of them from falling. That I know I'm using a lot of different visuals here, but that I think is what's going on. Right yeah. now, there's enough people out there that are going, uh-uh. Because, -uh. yeah, in the news, we're hearing the talking heads. Right, You right, can't right, go right. here. You so, can't. What's her face in uh, Michigan, is it? You have to stay home, or you can go to a friend's house, but you can't go to your vacation house. So, and she says this just before she goes to her vacation house. <laughs> yeah. People are seeing this and going, wait a minute. They had to, they had to think about something? What's there to think about? These people are You'd lying to you. would be surprised how many people are just, they're so apathetic, just mm. going through those little cattle shoots of life. Mm. Yeah, I guess I they, would, because I would You know, it. they have something that comes along, and whether it's a cow that's jumping over the chute and going, fuck this shit, I'm taking a shortcut yeah. and getting the hell out. Mm. And they look at this, and they go, wait, how? And then they finally look up, and they look over the sides, and they go, Wow, this is what's going on? Uh-uh, I ain't having none of this. Well, Especially if 
when you see the building at the end that starts to smell like cooked meat and it's got smoke coming out the chimneys. It's like, nah, okay. nah. Back in, in January, me and you did a uh-huh. show. Something about uh, if you're if you're gonna want listen to the show, you don't you don't need mental health, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, but what yeah. we were talking about was this uh, Virginia governor was making a big stink, fucking the whole state up over uh, gun laws that were coming. Yeah. All right. Well, before this thing got settled, this hoopla turned into the corona crap. So yeah. what I'm looking at is it it seems like this corona thing is just a big – it's a, a distraction from every yeah. other fucking thing that these liars are going to do to you in the future. They're not talking about it on the news or not because you're all distracted with corona every day. Well, you know, it's one of those things where here's a here's a yucky visual for you. Looky there, oofta is here. Um, in any case, oh, and, and ucky visual. So you got the the Trump Russia collusion thing went to shit. Uh, Joe Biden getting caught by you know for doing the quid pro Joe shit and being creepy molester Joe and sniffing hair and stuff. And people are starting to talk about that. Uh, Shitlery. People are starting to talk about some of her nasty doings. Um, which I saw a meme the other day that said, if you actually look at the numbers, you're less likely to die from coronavirus than you are after testifying against Shitlery. I laugh my ass off on that one. But, <clears throat> you know, people, I lost my, I lost my train. I lost, I missed Uh-oh. the train. I had my ticket and I lost my train. <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, back at the door table. Yeah. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Um, but, you know, one of the other things that, you know, you were talking about politicians and how they're all around the world. Have you ever stopped to consider that maybe in order to go into politics, you have to have some kind of invisible lobotomy done? So, yeah, and well, it also removes your backbone. Well, I really yeah. think people have mm-hmm. something like that done because if just about every politician I've actually met, met, mm-hmm. there ain't no common sense and the backbone's completely gone. Well, okay, but see, you're looking at it from an old perspective on top of it all. Well, see, that today's modern day uh, bad guy knows how to hack a computer and steal an identity, shit like yeah. that. You know, our day it was knock somebody in the face and shoot somebody, crap like that. Today it's different. It's a whole different world, and it's a it's a world. Okay, but it looks hmm. looking on to it with the death count as high as it still is because people are still dying of other shit than the coronavirus, right? Oh yeah. So people are still fucked up to each other plenty without medical problems. <laughs> True. They don't True. think about these things. Just this is all about selfishness. This whole corona crap. Just pick a side. That's you all you got to do. Corona has done. You want to know another positive of Corona and this whole social distancing thing? Uh, Murder rates are dropping. You know why? I don't believe that. Because well, gun murders only account for a certain number. I, uh, yeah, but I don't. I don't believe that for one fucking second. I don't think. Well, I don't think that just because. The system shifts the way things are done for a couple of months. That the, st- the statistics about life and death are going to change all that much. They're just not, they're oh. going to balance out in the now. Nah. Oh, but the headlines are out. There. Uh, the headlines fuck. are honest and for true. These and people I figured out how that headline is true because no. if you've got social distancing mm. and you have to stay six feet from each other, that knife fight you're going to be knifing it at just air. Ugh. Or, or you know, the a baseball bat. Yeah, you might be able to get them with that. Or a gun. Um, no. Crowbar. Yeah. No. I don't. You know, I just don't believe don't it. Have that. I don't believe it either. But no. you know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to wrap. I know you're the doing it. You're ha ha ha. But no. That and that's well, what, that's the foundation of my stand against this whole thing is the answers to their questions are just ridiculous. Yeah. 
But when you look at it as something totally redunculous, mm-hmm. then it actually becomes something redunculous. Uh, well, I don't know how it would map. See, I, I'm kind of stuck because I started out where I'm at now. Didn't like it from the fucking moment I heard it. I thought, no, everything I've heard tells me I'm hearing a story again. I don't know. This doesn't work this way. So, but I tiptoed around and tried to give them a back door. Maybe they're, I missed something, but I didn't. I was right. <clears throat> but it's the absolute worst fucking place to be in this uh, virus story thing that's going around the world. Yeah. Okay. So it's the kind of thing where other people need to tell you that it's bullshit because if you're telling them, you're in enemy territory already. and you don't. Oh, yeah, because the herd yeah. is already trying to police itself. Yeah. But yeah. That, those that are policing yeah. are getting smaller. Well, it's so. insane because we all have it. It's about it. It's about having a cold. Simple. It's so fucking simple. The amount of people that are going to die from it, they're not going to die from this. They're going to die with it. It might be the last thing to bring on their death because they're sick from about 5,000 other things. Life does this to us. Okay, well, if, if medicine wasn't propped up to the level it's been propped up to and people knew what the fuck it was really for, they would be more surprised that this virus didn't kill a lot more people than it did because it's so weak. And still, we're still strong enough to withstand the great coronavirus of 2020. No, (laughs) there was nothing to be afraid of in the first place. Yeah, well, I listened to a, a Dr. Bergman earlier today. There you go. And what is it? You have a 99.97% of surviving. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. So, wow. And, you know, and the more something spreads, the weaker it gets. It doesn't gain. This isn't the Borg, for fuck's sake. People have been watching too much TV. You know, they think as this bug goes out there, it gets stronger. And no, it dissipates and gets weaker as it travels. They keep keep saying, Mm. oh, but it's it's morphing. Into what? It's changing. And yeah, it stopped it and bred with a lab. Do not, viruses don't have their own DNA. They have mm. to attach to a host and they have to attach to sick tissue I... in order to be able to perpetuate themselves. And so each individual is different. Mm. So it has to change. It has to mutate in order to jump from one person to another or Which... it's not going to survive. And it, you know, the fewer sick tissue it has to live on, the fewer people it's going to get to. Well, That's yeah, but Mary, sense. Mary, we, right. But we've seen all these movies. We know about um, like Star Trek where they can, you know, put you through the thing and it sends your molecules across wherever it wants you to go and it reassembles you on the other side. Yeah, and how does it know how those molecules know? Exactly. Wait a minute. No, I want to be a thumb today. It was all you know, right. so you all of a sudden you got an eye on the end of your thumb. What the hell? All you right. Know? I mean if you have But look yeah. at the ideas the T V shows have embedded into us on a level of awareness that we don't have any control over. And how you react to that shit, you can tell people you believe it or you don't out loud all you want. You might be telling them the lie. Yeah. Hey, I don't believe in any of that. Deep down inside you, you've got books of how it works. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, I, I think a lot of the science that we have right now that is, you know, quote mm. unquote, science. Yeah. I think a lot of that is somebody said something mm. and they said, prove me wrong. Mm. And so... Mm. All these smart people, yeah. I just ask them, they'll tell you, I'm smart. I can use paper and pencil, or actually back then it was quill and ink and <laughs> yeah. sheepskin. Yeah. But I can prove you wrong. And so then they start coming up with all these formulas and wind up going, hey, I can't prove you wrong, so you mm. must be right. And I, I really honestly think most of the sciences that we've got around today mm. are based on a lie. Yeah. When you get right down to Uh, it, it was a lie that triggered them. Sure. And since they couldn't disprove the lie, Mm -hmm. it must be true. It must be true. I can't disprove it. 
And who would make you waste your time going to school to learn it if it wasn't true? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> well, that's why it's all part of that control <laughs> stuff. Exactly. You control the way people think and you control a population. And and what's coming out now is there, you know, the enteric brain, which is in the digestive system, you control the food supply and you control the way people think. Because that is, you know, 80% of the thought process from the enteric brain comes from your digestive tract and goes up to the brain. You only get 20% back Ooh. during that whole communication it's going like on. A, or like a, this is what they're finding now. It's like a and Jew so thing. Huh? You, you are what you eat. And so yeah. if you eat shit, yeah. you're going to be shit. And you're uh, going to think shit. Uh, very good. And you're not going to realize that you're shit. Oh, you, yeah. You think shit. Yeah, right. I know shit. I know shit. Well, I know stuff. Big woo. We both know something that starts with an S. Whoop-de-doo. You know who you're reminding me of right now? Huh? Larry Woods. Oh, cool. Yeah. Larry's been sharing some really cool links over on Facebook lately Excellent. on his his he, smart people page. Stop into the uh, Thursday night show and let him know. He he doesn't know. I don't think he spends a lot of time keeping track of how popular he is or isn't. But we all like a little slap on the back, you know. Well, I comment on a lot of the links that he shares because he really oh, then he are, some yeah, he knows fascinating you know. stuff. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff is so far above my head, I don't think they make a step ladder that tall. Mm -hmm. But I still, I just sit here mesmerized going, wow, someone thought that shit up. Right. Well, <laughs> Larry will be the first guy to tell you that what he is uh, knows is old knowledge. It's nothing new. He didn't create. He didn't invent. But he did uh, add something to an equation, and it changed the outcome completely. To uh, cool, yeah, it it did what nobody could figure out how to do. In my opinion of it, his explanation. And if you're concerned about what that might be, check out the drop in a coil program. That'll be a blast. I will have to listen to that. Yeah, I'll have to listen. To that. Larry and Rob are. Together, uh, you know, Larry's the experienced of the two of them. But these equations are so complicated that there's they make mistakes talking about them. So while uh -huh. they're giving direction, it's real easy to miss and to misdirect the other guy. So Larry's had to had to face Rob after Rob did what he told him, but it was wrong. And he, oh yeah, no. That's one of those things when when you become so familiar with something mm -hmm. that that you forget a couple of the steps because it's just second nature to, to you. you. It's yeah. almost an instinctive thing. Yeah. 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 And when you yeah. leave those little bitty steps out, yeah. it has a big consequence at the end. So mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. Man, I've had to write so many different job descriptions that I really, really understand how that works because if you don't get every little step in a process yep. detailed or, out for someone, you never know where they're going to end up or how screwed up or uh, or through uh, that little get with your little omission, whether it's intended or not, they may find a shortcut mm. of a way. But it's amazing if you don't have to actually sit down and write down a step-by-step -step <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, you, re you find out how many things you just do just by rote because you've just done it so often. Well, that yeah. I, I think what I'm learning from this show that I do with Larry and Rob though is is more that we need to be more receptive to dealing with other people that have specialties in other fields. And not oh, sit yeah. in judgment, but, you know, listen to the answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Larry's setting the stage to do it. And he, hopefully someday these people will go, damn, uh, open source. That's what his goal is. But this is also a money-making kind of an idea. So you're going you're gonna to always have this problem in life. 
because we have commerce the way it's set up now, you know, with the yeah. laws that exist. Not not so much only that we do commerce. That's bad enough. But when you throw the rules and regulation into it, my people love to be in court with you <clears throat> a lot. And run the okay. banks you get the money from to pay us to let you break the law. See, and that's I think that was where I was going with my when I stepped off the train and missed it. Oh. Um, was the whole financial aspect. And when you really stop and think about how if we were just working instead of in a competitive nature, but in a cooperative nature, you wouldn't need money. And a cashless society is a viable option because money really does, I think, devalue what you're what you do, what you have to offer, whether it be intellectual or tangible, money devalues it because then you have to go into this whole paradigm of of bickering over and pardon me if you will, jewing the other guy to get the price that you want for what you think it's worth as opposed to what they're willing to pay you for. As and that's that that's that um competitive mm-hmm. as opposed to cooperative that's mm-hmm. that's how i see the difference in those two mm-hmm. uh when you're competing to see ooh, so let's see if i can get that for a better price so i can hold on to more of this worthless paper i've got in my hand as opposed to wow mm-hmm. that was really cool i really like that and you know i did this over here do you like we could swap mm-hmm. you know and not put a value on it because cut every, it out. <laughs> everybody you know what everybody does and what everybody enjoys mm. what everybody has a passion for mm. they have they have a much higher value on what they have done than what anyone else will ever place on it you know it's like me my my time spending out in the garden you couldn't pay me enough to get me away from that because i and i value that and I value being able to grow healthy food for my family. Mm. You know, so, and then someone else, and I've got neighbors that, you know, when I start getting crop, ooh, do you have any cucumbers? Man, you grow the best cucumbers. Oh, you have any extra tomatoes this year? You got, and they'll come and do mowing for me or do something else for me. And it's not like it's a worked out barter or anything. It's like, oh, okay, sure, come on over, pick. Help yourself. And next thing you know, my ditches are mowed. Cool. This is awesome. <laughs> That's called cooperative as opposed to competitive. You web snaring old woman, you. I am. But yeah. you know, they're getting what they want. I have stuff that I don't want going to waste, and I may not have time to do the whole canning, processing, storing thing. But you, bait the them. <laughs> you baited them with fresh vegetables. Well, yeah, I did. Tricked them into your evil web of deceit. Yeah, mm-hmm. into just cooperating with so, each other. Yeah, right. Well, Darn. You, you're just such a horrible person. What, I am. What are we going to do with women? We can name a holiday after you. Nas- National uh, Corona Day with Mary. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget wow. your lime because I don't have enough for everyone. I do have salt. <laughs> but I don't have enough wine. Telling you, boss, this this thing is it's made life better in some areas, and it has fucked life up completely in others. And the people that live there, wherever that is, that's my opinion of that place. So it doesn't matter what I think. It just matters yeah. that I have the ability to think, and I gotta I gotta deal with Grimner. He's got these. Uh, Time slots on the site. I can do radio. If I yeah. wanna, so I do. Yana? Yeah, sometimes we're, you know, we're fucking informative people, me and you. We know things. We're like Michael and, uh, what's his name? Fredo. Huh? 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 Yeah. 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 Except you're a girl. Figure that. Well, <laughs> eh, go figure. Eh. Well, come on. Well, you know, some experiences, whether you actually have them or not, yeah. you can kind of get an empathic feel for them because it's like, oh, I had something very similar and that left a mark. No, so, Mary, some people do not have that. 
I have encountered them throughout my existence here I, as a fellow carbon-based life form. Yeah, I've some encountered of, a few myself, and I just oh, very I low try on to stay them. away from them. <laughs> well, you don't even have to. They they're so not interested in me <laughs> that I already know. There's nothing to gauge. Or it's just a, an incident that just comes and goes. Because huh? yeah. water, all right, we're electricity, okay? We're all these things bouncing off of shit, but we've been taught how to look at it. Some people are taught differently than others. Let's just use that as an example. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we each have ability to do a lot of str strange things that mentally that you, uh -huh. you can't really explain how come you're good at something. You know, like a, I've seen a guy just pick up a saw and estimate and come within, you know, fractions of his uh, imaginary line he never penciled in. And I have a hell of a time following the fucking pencil line and getting a straight edge. You know, that kind of a... Yeah. Okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah, I understand. I or understand. Or somebody like you that's in tune with the seasons and knows what, what to do. Okay, we're going to plant our seeds now. I feel it. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Or, or... Or the other day when we had rain coming in and it didn't look like we had rain coming in and... And I was standing outside with Wayne, and I said, there's rain coming. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, and he goes, how do you know? <laughs> you just agree. I could smell it coming ah, in. You, can, you know, you can actually smell, no. or I can you, actually yeah. smell rain coming yeah. in. Yeah. And he went, oh, really? And so he went in, and he looked on his phone mm -hmm. and looked at the radar, and he goes, well, damn, there is something. But I think it's going to dissipate before it gets to us. Nope. Nope, we're going to get rained on. We're going to get... And you know what? We got an inch of rain that night. Wow. And you leave the radar machine inside to go outside. Wow. You're you're sporty. I like that. I like well, your style. Well, and I can remember in high school, you know, <laughs> telling kids in school, you know what? We just might have a snow day tomorrow. I, mean, <laughs> I can smell you snow. You can smell it. Yeah, like Hannibal and Lecter. It, yeah. Well, it, it has a certain... Smell to it. You have an olfactory nerve that's sensitive to it. It's not hard yeah. to explain in words. It's just hard to explain in experience. Yeah. yeah. Because there's some some scents or some like fragrances, like the smell of death. When that yeah. waft hits you in the face, that's like being slapped. It's very awake. It's an awakening aroma, and not in a good fact. But there are people on the planet Earth. That enjoy that stench, or can you know they're almost nah, oblivious. Nah, bleh, oblivious, so schmivious. They're they. My opinion is of it, <laughs> not their opinion. I don't care about theirs. Yeah, they're doing yeah. it <laughs> better them than me. I'm glad they're willing to do it, but I yeah. just see it as somebody likes something enough to do it. And I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that dead, dead to it kind of idea. It kills the artist in me to accept that. <laughs> yeah. You know, because yeah. I, I don't ever want to, if I'm that dead that I don't react to shit no more, ooh, that's not going to be fun. Well, and I, sometimes I think that that's what a lot of this, the progression of the programming on tell live vision mm. has been you know because it's been gradually getting a little bit more risque it? and gradually getting a little bit more violent uh, and i think it's a descent desensitization mm. process mm -hmm. and it's just gradually worked its way yeah. to where it is yeah. now yeah. there so. you go and we're we're the last of a dying breed to this what what does hansel call us boomers yeah. Poor Hansel. He's so jealous. Because our generation yeah. got away with so much. We had the greatest con men of all time. Tricky Dicky. For fuck's sake. That was the greasiest, slimiest Republican that ever walked the face of the earth. He makes Donald Trump look like a nice guy. Oh, uh, there's, yeah. I'm telling you, from my, my opinion of 
history. And then stop and think about the people that actually put him up there, because you know those that were behind him oh, yeah. had to be Ooh. slimier than him. Kissinger, Bibi Rebozo, all those damn governors at the time. Uh, this this is like a, it's like a conspiracy theorist dream to talk about shit like this, because and now we all know it's true. Yeah. There's nowhere left after this corona crap's exposed. And it will be exposed. And it's going to divide. You're going to have people that will not give it up, just like the moon landing or 9-11. These, hey, mom. <laughs> like all these major things that happen in history. And 20 years goes by and still people will support the original story they used to describe it, which was crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're doomed. <laughs> well, and I think that that was all part of that wonderful vaccine program, oh, you know, wow. is to to try and erase the critical thinking process in the mind. And when you look at the adjuvants that are in vaccines, they are very destructive on the brain, very destructive. Mm. And so, you know, you take out one component, just like you were talking about with Larry and Rob. And, Ro and Larry giving Rob instructions on how to do something, and then leaving out one little detail. Yeah. It changes the outcome, because it's science. Science has to be done in a certain order, certain steps in a certain order to come to a final conclusion. And instead, what people do is they try to make the explanation fit their answer. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't work on old people. It only works on the bamboozled by uh, oh, this modern-day Tesla idiot, for example, or this uh, Amazon fucker. Yeah. You know? And as some of us can put our foot down and say, no, I'm not going to use those powers. I refuse. And others of us who can't, well, the people that have to make make enough up of the profit margin. <laughs> they don't miss the people that won't. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're a scratch. So we would need like, a, if a million people in any one city on any place in the world, in one area, join together to do any one thing, that idea would get done that fucking day. Yeah. Okay. It's my belief because I live on an island in a part of a, another country. So, because we're isolated from the land mass, it changes the dynamics of the behavior of people. Yeah. Okay. Now, not to say that there are not corrupt politicians sitting holding seats in power today. They're just more accountable to the people than uh, I'm used to seeing. Well, it is a smaller land mass and smaller population base. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and it's it's closer to get to them with your pitchforks and <laughs> Exactly. Oh, wow. Hell of a oh, way to put I, it, but yeah. I, I just saw this on, on the RLM chat. Yeah. Uh, Missouri hairstylist may have yeah. exposed 91 people to COVID-19. Notice how it's 91 and COVID-19. Right. They just reversed yeah. the numbers. I, I see weird shit like that. But that's according to officials you, uh, in man. misery, yeah. the show me state. Yeah, show me. Hmm? Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Those 91 people hmm. may be pre, you know, pre-COVID. Hmm. In other words, don't have it. Are healthy. You know, any anytime you anytime you see that prefix pre, yeah. that means before. So anybody out there that's listening, if you see pre-diabetic pre or pre-pregnant or pre-COVID or pre-contagious, right. that means you're not. Mm. It's before you even have something. Mm. Pre, before, Ew. learn your English. Or else Mary will kick the shit out of you. <laughs> well, and that's really why I think English is the perfect spell casting language because there's so many grammatical rules and so many words tell you what that there's so sound the same but mean uh, something different what what there's so so much of is victims of misunderstanding what shit really means yeah yeah 
like like the idea of liberty, for example, that Grimner has, that some of the people that use the site have no idea what it means. Yeah. And it yeah. well, it translates through your your personal text with the group, however you write, what you write about. Oh yeah. Well, there you go. He Grim is open to everybody. He doesn't he doesn't care. <laughs> he don't give a shit. Yeah. But he still stands his ground. When you push him too hard and you say something stupid, he'll go, "Hey, tap 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 tap." <laughs> but well, yeah. and see, he is he is what a true anarchist. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not and anarchists, yeah, anarchists, you know, they don't give a shit what you do so mm. long as you're not doing too much yeah. to them. Yeah, or uh, or, or somebody to else. else to it. Yeah. There's a level you got to stay behind. Yeah. That's, yeah. But yeah. Hey, being free is not it's not uh, a physical kind of thing anyway. I think it's a mental it's nothing more than a mental state of being until you open your eyes and there's other people around you. Then it's gone. Yeah, it is a mindset kind of thing. you got to close your eyes to be there. And when you're there, you're by yourself. There's nobody there with you. So, eh, take it or leave it. I've defined it for all you people out there. So you don't have to think for yourself no more. I'll think for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just send oh. all your dollars to Grimnir at the uh, Real Liberty Media dot com, <laughs> and that is how centralized control starts. <laughs> what having people with one person going, I will think for you because I know on this, so I will do the thinking for you, and someone else goes, okay, and see that's that's the real. And I saw it years ago, I saw something <laughs> and and read this article about. Right. Um, it's not necessarily a great leader that changes things. It's the second follower that initiates change. I'm familiar because with a that. Great, yes, sir. A great leader can get out there and do all kinds of fantabulous things, but if nobody's paying attention to them, all they're doing is doing fantabulous things for themselves. And even if that first follower goes, oh, wow, okay, I'm going to start following this guy and using his example – that's still really not enough <laughs> of an impetus to get others to really pay attention. It's just one guy and someone going, oh, hey, I'm going to do what he's doing. But once you get that second person in there, then others start going, wait a minute. You know, yeah. it's kind of like the herd. Yeah. All of a sudden, the head comes up uh. and they start looking around. Mm -hmm. And that second follower is the one that triggers the avalanche. Oh, cool. You so, know why? You know what I just did that you reminded me of? That I wanted to mention what? on the radio, I went What's over. That? I went over to uh, RLO and started writing um, blogs again. I took a. a I ha couldn't oh, yeah. get on the site. Had a lot of technical issues for a period of time. Gave up, and then they said they sorted it out. So I went back because I liked the site, and because oh. I'm on the site, yeah, I used it. Started writing some stuff, having fun with it, but I wanted to. To mention it on the show, that uh, realliberty.org. Yes. And you do and have a blog there. And I did tell you beforehand I was going to yeah. read that on the show. Oh, you want are me you? to do that now? Sure. It, it's, it was fun writing. So, sure, I, I like to hear that. Because <laughs> okay. I, I know I had a smile on my face when I was writing it. Okay. Well, and this is in honor of all of the COVID nonsense out there. Flasher wrote six days ago about six days ago is what it says for the date bad germs so i woke up on a morning in february of 2020 to a new world a world filled with a new story about future terrors and a massive death count like we have never seen in a matter of what seemed like a few days the entire civilized world had gone totally insane now, during this time, we were all introduced to a new normal, not that setting on the dryer either, and we were promised it would save lives, win the war, and make childbirth a pleasure. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So, during the first few months of the new normal, people in some places 
been forced to shut down, lock down, and stop interacting with each other. A mandatory mask, gloves, and distance was required to take part in free societies all over the world. What we would uncover with a little reading may be the most controlled experiment on human behavior in society since we first figured out how to put words on paper. So if you need background to understand what this tale is about, I recommend any of hundreds of movies and documentaries designed to misinform, misdirect, and keep people in a constant state of panic based on our collective ignorance about germs. I remember making jokes about shutting down restaurants and bars over something as innocent as germs right up to the moment that they were shut down. <laughs> there was a group of eugenicists working on coordination on a global scale to save us all from a monster that only exists in the imagination of an uneducated follower of state dogma. Do you know back, dogma spelled backwards is am God? I just thought I'd throw that in there. Now, a civilized news had informed the masses a bad germ could destroy life and kill almost 2%. Kill almost, which means 98% survive, by the way, of the course or of us in the course of its escape into the population. Oh, hey, I got ahead of you. Uh, we are in the final chapter of the bad germs that would eventually kill us all saga, except for the 98% who survived. <laughs> Sorry, I got ahead of you. Now, convincing billions of people to be afraid of something that isn't a danger takes organization, planning, and skills our sitting governments don't seem capable of executing to get the desired result. It all depends on the delivery of the threats necessary to convince the public that danger lurks with every breath you take, that your friends <laughs> and family are deadly, and the state knows exactly what we need to do to survive something that isn't really happening. <laughs> now, representatives from all areas of public life stood together dun, 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 and told the people to do as they told or as they were told. And while the speakers did the exact opposite of what they preached, because you're not supposed to see that, <laughs> sheep, the politicians had been trying to accomplish the total control of society over its history in what seems to be or seems to have been small steps that led to a locked door. We have been deceived in every area of knowledge required to survive and enjoy our few years of life to be continued. Dun, dun, dun. But wait, there's more. But Flash has to write it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got that for you. Well, you gave it like a dramatical that. kind of twist there with your reading experience. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I had fun I, writing that. You know, that comes from all my years of reading bedtime stories to my kids. Cause, mm. And yeah. then it worked out to yeah. where I wasn't real good at putting them to sleep because mm. I acted shit out. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> Dr. Seuss, you got to. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's and Br'er cool. Rabbit, you got to. should be a law. Yeah. Everybody everybody should have to do it. It should be like a law. There you go. Yeah, because, you know, there's some people <sighs> that got spots upon those and some people mm. that don't. Wow. But Happy Sam, or whatever the hell his name is, mm. he will sell you star-bellied speeches. Mm. Or nowadays with this whole corona thing, mm. some people have masks and some people don't. And those mm. people that don't have masks are jealous because they can't go to all the good beaches. And so mm. they want to get masks. But now that Sam slap it up happy guy, he said, well, you know, you really don't need a mask. So now all those people that were jealous of the ones that were wearing masks are all going around going, but now we've got masks upon ours, mm -hmm. and all of those people on the beaches have none upon theirs. That's not very fair. Damn. And so, slap it up, Sammy comes mm -hmm. along and says, but wait, 
<laughs> I can tell you something. <laughs> wow. I've got it's the exact the same thing. No, I've got the exact opposite here. Thir- really? Thursday yeah, Thursday after I uh went down to the grocery, figured I was gonna go have me a beer. And I'm sitting outside, it's nice and bright, sunshine, blah blah blah. People are pulling up chairs to sit with their friends. Now there's the party of six. <laughs> so, you know, they're not, they've already forgotten the corona crap here, the outside um, behavior. If you're outside, yeah. you know, they're. That's because if you're not under a stressful situation, yeah, people's yeah. memory is yeah. very it's short. Yeah. They go right back yeah. to, oh, cool. Hey, let's go hang out and have a beer. But the inside of the business still has the state coming down with their, you know, well, we're going to have to do this. And then they, they send somebody on the, the next day to change their mind about the first thing. No, well, we're not going to do that now. Okay, put it back the way it was. <laughs> so they're already seeing, in the, if they don't back off and stop, that it's going to fall apart on them. So, ta-da. You know, and, and the, yeah, well, they have this uh, bakery, and they have tables and chairs. They move in and out of this area where people can sit. And through the corona, they had them all locked up so you couldn't use them. And now oh. they're back to the way things were. And people are behaving just like it. Never, it's very strange. You know? Yeah. It's but like, I, I don't. You remember that corona stuff? Oh, is yeah. that that beer that you get lime with? You know, that's, that's about where it's, it, it will hmm. wind up being that way. You know, if well, people pull their freaking collective heads out of their. Yeah. yeah, well, no, because you're going to do this again to the see to the people that are connected to it, that support it. They're going to hit them with another wave to keep it alive. If they don't, it'll die. So, and just like yeah. the the whole virus theory thing is, it, it escapes, it's big, then it dissipates, and poof, it's gone. Well, they forgot to, to explain that part. <laughs> yeah, they had everybody thinking it grows like some kind of beast and. Grows from body to body. You're going to get everybody you know and kill them all. What the fuck? You've been watching too many movies. This is like Sham Wow without the infomercials. You know? That's They're pretty going, much what it's But I said, wait, yeah. there's more. We're agreeing on something. I did. This got potential. Uh, I know. I was going to be positive, too. <laughs> Screwed that all up. Well, you know, instead of uh, slap it on Sammy, we got fuck it up Fauci. But wait, mm. there's more. You'll oh. rue the day because I told you. I told you so. I told you so. Mm. Yeah. And for 1995, we will give you a free vaccine for 1995. Oh, wait. He said free. It must be free. Well, I saw a little, little for a few minutes. Italy was pissed off as hell at. Billy Boy, there. Colin yeah. for his neck, India. You know, it's it's Went away. they're still pissed. It's still mm. out there, but yeah. you know, places places like Facebook, when you post shit like that, mm. then they have this little disclaimer that goes over it. So you have to say, "I want to go past the disclaimer." Anyway. Wow. I want to see. Search, they seriously search, do. Search. It's hilarious. You know. Oh well, the Facebook independent fact checkers have yeah. deemed this to be false information. Really? Wow, I saw the video on YouTube. Oh, wait, it's no longer on YouTube. It got deleted. Mm. Ah, imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's how they rewrite history. And that is how, peop, how people keep falling for this shit. Mm. Because if they're not in a stressful situation, they forget all the bad stuff eventually. Until it oh, comes back yeah. around again. Sure. And then they go... Sure. Wow, this seems vaguely familiar. But what oh, ab- they said wear a mask. I better get one. Okay, what about the hardcore supporter that really buys this story and lives through it, lives up to it? And see, they're going to get ill through this because there's such a bunch of negative wah wahs and, and then well, they can't lose their argument because they're going to come out of it sick and weak. See, you get a corroded you bastards. See, you made me sick. I'm going to die. Guess exactly. What, yeah. We're all going to die eventually. Right. That's how it works. But when you, you give up, when, when you give a hypochondriac a loaded 
needle, what are they going to do with it? Well, they're going to they're going to tie you to a chair and stick it in your arm and see if it works. That's what they're going to do with it. Well, you don't yeah. think they're going to yeah. try it theirself, do you? Oh God, no! Because they're too important. The biggest pussies in the fucking world right now are these monkeys pushing all this crap on people that don't need it. Pretending. Yeah, someone, someone on Twitter last night asked, "What would be an appropriate punishment for Fauci, Burks, and Gates?" Hmm. And just being a smart ass, because I was in that kind of a mood, I put on there. I think that they should be inundated on a continuous replay of, um, like, uh, let's see, who'd I say? People Fauci. With irritating voices. Well, no, people Fauci. with irritating voices. So, like, Rosie yeah. O'Donnell and um, uh, Kissinger, you know, people that have uh, really grating yeah. voices. Yes. These people singing show tunes to all of those uh, Broadway musicals that closed in one night. Have that on a rolling feed. 24-7, 365 days a year, and have that playing all the time, Adam, while they are active guinea pigs for every new vaccine and every, every new drug that Big Pharma comes out with. I think that would be an appropriate punishment for them. Yes, yeah, it's very nice to see you too, Miss Murray. Oh, and there you go doing Hank. God, that voice just, oh, oh. Enjoy, man. Enjoy the oxygen, buddy. Oh, sure. Just, 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 just. You would be paying for it soon. Ugh. Thank you. Yeah, hey, thanks. you know what? You know what's what? really good about life? What? Everything. Oh, yeah. You know what's really not good about life? Uh, Every, everything. everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put that else in there. Uh, that's, what did it. that's the game of word, Mary. We. It's the else's that did it. It's I, just like... Those people are other than. I was, Don't be afraid of them. I was bragging about my cult that I'm going to start in, back in, in January, the show we did. And it was funny to listen back to it because all the things that I said came true. They come from Elf. They came true, and some of them will come true in the not-so-distant future. I can see these yeah. things are happening. <laughs> you know what? Damn it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break your crystal ball. That's all oh, I Oh, man. <laughs> I know. I, I hope not. Shattered in a bazillion no. pieces. And then you'll be able to walk everywhere and look in those little pieces of crystal ball and go, I knew that was coming. No, I don't well. I don't really I don't really mean it that badly. I just mean it is that it wasn't such a surprise. I was kind of oh, leaning no. toward the government was gonna do something that was just obvious to me that it was a bunch of crap. But not obvious to most of the people that live in you know, in that uh, experience. Well, it's you know, the whole bread and circuses thing. If I had lived in Copenhagen instead of where I live, I would probably have a different outlook on the whole fucking thing. Because I'm surrounded oh, yeah. by, you know, that's a 450, I don't know, 500,000 people. It's a, not a huge, huge, but it's big compared to where we're at. So I think that. My whole uh, vibration would have shifted to uh, another way, but because of where I'm at, I'm so relaxed here, considering the world's on fire. Because I read that so much. Oh, this place has got this problem and that problem and the other, and then I go to the grocery and try to decide if I want the avocados or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big problems in Denmark, baby. You know, don't don't try to compete with me. I had to put the yeah. bananas back. I didn't like the color. <laughs> what? You got bananas in Denmark in fucking May? Figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but I'm reading other things that tell me that people are shutting down restaurants and stores and forcing the public to not have a choice. They've got to get something from whoever they can. Oh, that's not yep. what... Wait a minute. <laughs> What happened to my country, people? I've gone but, eight years and you fuck it up like this? <laughs> but we're the freest society on the planet. Just I'm gonna, ask people. I'm going to blame, I think I'm going to blame Hansel for all this. He's military madness, boy. 
Yeah, it's the military's fault. They fucked it all up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, hey, you want a little bit of good news? Oh, yeah. My friend Catherine just shared this. Mm. Ireland just voted against 5G. Yo, I wonder how far that'll go, though, because the laws that they wrote before all that pretty... I don't know how they got out of it. Let's hope. Let's hope they did. But... Larry and Rob were discussing 5G in, in a level of understanding regarding frequency delivery. Okay, So I guess in layman's terms, in, in real dumb language, it would be the same as if your car runs on premium fuel and then you decide, well, I'm going to use the regular instead. It might run for a while, but eventually you're going to kill your car. Yep. But... It will it will run and it'll be cheaper to operate it, but you're going to get less life. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's how I kind of uh, equated it. Yeah. That's the principle behind what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. We're we're operating we're operating on stuff that requires a higher grade of fuel than we're uh, capable of acquiring, unless you grow it yourself. Mm-hmm. Or like, and if you grow it yourself, you have to come up with whole new technology for it because the existing technology will not survive with it. Well, I was talking about like growing uh, bay leaves. What is that? Basil. I, we grow all kinds of herbies. Got mm -hmm. uh, Mary. What's that? Mary. Sir, what's that? Uh, Mary something. Rosemary. Yeah, big whole bucket. I mean, it's huge plant. Mm hmm So. Yeah, but we she's she that likes to do all the gardening stuff, and that's cool. Oh, and she sent pictures, and your garden area is freaking awesome. Well, it's the, it could be a lot. Wow, we're just tinkering out there. We're city folk, but thanks a lot. Yeah. And it's just an artisty woman and me doing what she says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't really make any decisions out there. You just do this stuff that's too heavy for her to do. There you go. Yeah, but outside of that, nah, I let her. I let her have be artistic and make what you want and go along with it. What the fuck? Who needs art? Who needs to argue about you know rocks and wood anyway? It's stupid. To me, that's you know. That's why we keep you men folk around us so you can do the heavy lifting. Right, and <laughs> some of us have just got to understand that's the. See, the, the price that you pay for boobs is those things are the reason you're lifting those rocks. Yeah. You're protecting those boobs because boobs aren't designed to lift rocks. They're designed for other things. <laughs> 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 that really got nothing to do with rocks. <laughs> or but they, they have something to do with stones. They could have or something to do with tool. a wheelbarrow, but you might get arrested. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I think I've seen too many South Park episodes. Probably. Whoa. Anyway, so yeah, well, yeah, but uh, yeah, everybody else was gardening, so we went along with it. We tried it, and it worked. It's actually kind of fun to play in the dirt. You know, if if you're one of those people that isn't going <gasps> dirt. Well, not only that, but there's almost like a um, like a cool tingling to uh, having some fruit grow out of your gr your ground that you can yeah. you can give it to people to eat it and they'll take it and they'll go hey uh -huh. this is really uh she grew these freaking cucumbers and she only had two stalks in the cucumbers some of them were huge they looked like yeah. sex toys they were so big honey <laughs> trapped her with that one <laughs> She just gave me a dirty look. <laughs> well, I I said that her her cucumbers looked like sex toys. See? Yeah, I um several years ago I sent I had a bumper crop of cucumbers myself, and I sent some home with Amy Lynn, who's like an adopted daughter, and um her her twin sister came over to get some cucumbers, and she pulled one of the biggest ones out of there. And she said, Oh, with this, I won't need my boyfriend. 
And Amy told me about that. And I went, oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Some snippy fucking smart thing to say. Come on. We know. We're, we're grown-ups around here at the dark table. We've heard all this shit before. Some of us have even said it. <laughs> yeah. But, well, anyway. So, if the world that you're in isn't on fire and everything is relatively calm and you're comfortable, then good. I'm all for that. What I don't want to see is all the... Yuck. <laughs> but... There's going to be ick, but not to the level I've been seeing lately. It's pretty disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the lockdown, they just, bes- I'm beside myself just imagining. I used to hitchhike through these states, okay, with no mm-hmm. particular freaking where I'm going or nothing. I'm just going that way. Let's see where Interstate 40 is going to go. <laughs> but now if if you try to do a thing like that, try to drive. <laughs> <laughs> what would become of yeah. you? you? You'd be inspected and checked and neglected by the state before the sun went down. Sounds terrible. I'm scared, oh, yeah. Miss Mary. <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, I'll tell you what. Yesterday, going down to see my mom and pick up, had to get a new push mower because the one that I had finally kicked the bucket. And uh, so we went down, got a new push mower, visited with mom, got phones transferred over, all blah, 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 blah. But my God, the traffic on Interstate 70, there mm-hmm. was a lot of people out mm-hmm. a l- and a lot of people with trailers and furniture. Mm-hmm. And most of the ones with trailers and furniture were coming from the west and heading east. <laughs> and right. it's like, I wonder if those are California. <laughs> well, they do have license plates, right? Yeah, but when I'm heading west, it's hard to see the license plates of the traffic in the other two lanes. Oh, okay, yeah, but they still got plates on the front in some states. They used to, anyway, when I was there. Mandatory front and back. I mean, not just there. Let's not just stick them in the eye. Let's stick them in both eyes at the same time and get them to thank us for it. (laughs) Well, see, Kansas, you don't have to have a plate on front and back yet. There you go. All right. California, I think. Uh, I'm yeah, pretty Colorado, sure California, you do. Was, Misery, you do. There's a lot of states that you do, but Kansas, you don't. Not yet. Well, that's so, the biggest that's problem right. you've got. You're beating them. Because you know what? Uh, I, I, no. I, I was thinking that. I hope Soylent Green goes well with Zombie. Because if uh, what I'm seeing on the interwebs is true about food supply. That's going to be a food choice in the not too distant future. Huh. McShit Burgers is the first step towards it, but. Ah. Exactly. I mean, yeah, it'll true. be distributed through some kind of restaurant system. Some Something innocent so that you won't, you know, so you'll be duped slowly like every other thing. Yep. Oh, Grimmy says New Mexico, you don't have front license plates either. Oh, you're a very free in New Mexico. Ugh. Except for your governor's fucking insane, Grim. I'll tell you that. Boy, somebody ought to just sit her down and have a word with her. Or maybe shut her up. <laughs> I Kansas went all sexist. Far from it either. That's right. I went all sexist. I say stick a dick in her and shut her up. She's out of <laughs> control, by God. She needs a man in her life to shut her the fuck up so she'll quit screwing everybody else. <laughs> well, you know, if you can't get screwed physically, you'd metaphorically get people doesn't so, doesn't it seem you know like you were saying in the beginning about maybe these uh politicians they go through this thing i think maybe they get uh punished if they don't do what they're told to do they get threatened with hey you do this or you'll be living in a garbage can behind a fucking burger king you know what <laughs> go ahead try it you know and the ones yeah. that resist hey. end up Free fries. Free but they sure, fries. They sure have a lot of unexplainable deaths that when they explain them, they say, well, suicide. Who is suicided on a railroad track with a gun? Who shoots himself in the back of the head twice? And yeah, then they crawled over the railroad tracks and laid there so the train would crush them. I mean, please. I mean, that was a little what? exaggerated of me, but 
Yeah. The point. But, you know, that second shot, that was just a, that was a jerk reaction by the body. It was in the death spasm and it just happened to hit him again. We've seen yeah. too many movies. I, that's yeah. what I think the, the disassociation with reality that the public has is their reality is dictated in film based on shit that the words are similar to the truth, but the, the full production, once it's presented to you, it takes you down this storybook path. It's bullshit. But, well, it's like the magic bullet thing with Kennedy. Here we go. How do, where do you think all this shit? You know, once the CIA went, oh, hey, you're not liking the story we're telling you about that? You must be a conspiracy theorist. Da, 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 what the da. hell business is the CIA doing with anything on? Because aren't they supposed to be outside? Of U.S. Of soil, States? yeah. No, but they're so not. What are yeah. they doing dealing with the Kennedy assassination that was inside the continental U.S.? I mean, wait a minute here. Well, the rumor is they were the ones pulling the triggers. Well, yeah, I don't doubt that one bit. There's enough people out there that supposedly wanted his ass. And to me, I think if you're a, uh, the president and you got that damn many people gunning for you, you must be doing something right. Well, or wrong, however you look at it, but somehow or another, you pissed off the wrong people. Ooh. Yeah, well, you know, don't lose sight of the idea of being misdirected on purpose. It gets lost. Yeah. It gets lost in all the opinions. I yeah. see it this way, and I saw that. Nah, blah, blah. Everybody sees fucking something, and it seems to take us away from the point, which is, hey, this didn't happen the way we were told it got happened. But that, well, there you go. We just end up arguing about how it happened, not how did we allow it to happen. Mm-hmm. Well, they yeah. allowed it to happen by buying that, the Warren report. The Warren Commission did all this. Yeah. And they come up with the most ignorant, for a fucking country full of, I'm three, four years old at this time, so for a country filled with gun lovers, it sure was disappointing that nobody could put two and two together and figure out your head doesn't go backwards when somebody hits you with a bullet from behind. Yeah. Goes forward. So he was shot from the front. They yeah. convinced a whole sitting population of people to ignore what they knew and agree with the fucking stupidity of the goddamn government because they had something to hide. That's because they started with a massive trauma, killing the POTUS, hmm. and then reinforcing that trauma by supposedly killing <laughs> the guy that supposedly shot him from behind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All that shit was all staged, too. You know, so so they kept <coughs> trauma upon trauma, and yeah, that's how the mindfuck game works, is they traumatize you, then traumatize you again to where you cannot... Think clearly, and they keep it, keep those Muddled. traumas, yeah. whether they traumatize you again or not, they keep those traumas in your mm. mind. And then mm. when they come up with something and someone calls bullshit, they go, you remember how, how it felt? This person is questioning them. So then all of a sudden you've got all of these traumatized, this traumatized herd that all of a sudden goes, that's the danger over there. And so they stampede in that direction. They know how to steer a herd. They've known for a long time. But yeah, that's how they that's how they do it. Is they traumatize and then they traumatize on top of it, then they don't let you forget those prior traumas as they're steering and stewing and forming the narrative and getting you to swallow it. Uh oh. Now you're getting all sexual about it. I uh, know. Watch your I tone, little know. missy. I'll have to turn you over to this. This, I know I know this is gonna cause a lot of men to get fat. <laughs> I don't swallow that shit. And I'm Wait not talking about what you may think I'm uh, talking about, oh. but I don't swallow that shit. Oh, not we're, anymore. We're being politically verbal <laughs> at the moment. I get but it. But the farmer is a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> you braggart. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. She took us down Oral Lane one more time. And I, I, you know what? I just called this episode of the show tonight. 
blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there you go. So that way, if you heard it, that's what I typed it up as. <laughs> there you go. And I just wanted to let you know, right. I did share in yeah. the chat yeah. um, the link from the uh, MP in Italy that said that Bill Gates must be charged mm -hmm. by International Criminal Court with Crimes Against Humanity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is an article about Yeah. I and I've seen the video. The it's no longer on YouTube, but I've seen the video. Yeah. And Moose Girl put up JFK 9-11. Uh, everything is a rich man's trick. Yeah. Yep. Because the, yeah, yep. this there's stuff is documented for everybody to see. And yeah, yet, I've seen that video a couple of times. Right. And but I I get a little bit more out of it each time. The people that it would do the most good won't look. Yeah. Sad. They will poo poo yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Or they yeah. will be afraid to look because they're afraid. And this is the funny thing. I actually had someone tell me this. They were afraid to watch a video that I had shared on Facebook because what if the government sees that I've watched it? And these are also the same people that say the government's not watching us. And yet the reason they refused to watch a video was what if the government is watching? Hmm. And I thought, wow, that tortured logic. Hmm. I'm not Gumby. That hurt. And I <laughs> can't follow that. Uh. Wow. Wow, tortured. <sighs> well, that was very tortured. But see, I agree with that simplicity concept in the first place. I think that more complex something is like a Larry and Rob's experiment with the coil. Mm -hmm. There's an example of, man, when something is that complex, you get, you need other people. There you go. Then it's a matter <laughs> of how how much of that work needed do you want to trust other people to do for you and how much of it do you want to do yourself and be responsible it's kind of a like a tightrope thing yeah and yet there's a part of me that says how much of that complexity is necessary all and of I'm it i'm not just talking about yeah. the dropping the coil or anything oh no but, i am know, i'm i'm being specific know, about the yeah coil. now i understand with that it, there are there are multiple steps there's a million. Lie. There's a million ways to do it. The one that um, Larry's talking about, but there's uh, only one way to do it correctly. See? Yeah, and that is a quote from Edison. Whether it's, he actually said it or not, you know, when someone had asked him about being the inventor of the light bulb, and he said, uh -huh. "Oh, but I yeah. came up with a thousand different ways to, yeah. to not do it." Yeah, but no, so, there's there's older older versions of the bulb. I think there's even a, a bulb that's still burning to this day. I forget where it's at. It's so Rhode Island or maybe one of the one Moose Girl might know. <laughs> she does and it's all that. Because it's, trivia. it's because it's never been shut off. Because it's a, the process of shutting it off and turning it back on again that actually wears on it more than leaving it on. From what I understand. Yeah, well, okay. I don't, we all understand something here, but the, yeah, but the technology's been with us for a long, long time. But they've been lying, and you can't get this yeah. this simple concept across because you got cell phones and banking's instant, and I can you know order a pizza at four o'clock in the morning, blah blah, fucking blah. That is not progress. That is a trap. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's a pretty trap, but it, it's fucking trap. Until you learn that it is one, you're never going to see it that way. Did so, you also know what? that Westinghouse won the bid to light the world's, I think it was the Chicago World Fair? No, I didn't know that. Against Edison. And so since he won the bid and uh -huh. Westinghouse uh -huh. was working with Tesla, uh -huh. then Edison would not let them use the Edison light bulb. So Westinghouse <laughs> and Tesla came up with another kind of light bulb and lit it with their own light bulb. Yeah, I saw a film of uh, somebody in New Mexico taking a light bulb and inserting it into the soil and it lit up. Oh, I can believe that. Yeah, well, the earth is, look what the earth does. It grows flowers and shit. You think it can't light up a light bulb somewhere? <laughs> Come on, figure it's, it out. It's all energy exchange. Well, Every bit of it. Well, but arguing is so much more fun. But yeah. Yes. 
But that's what yeah. we've been told. We're we're energy, but we're not. Ex- I don't think we're. Ex- it's explained to us just exactly all the different ways to interpret that sentence there are. <laughs> yeah, because you're limited by what you know about the word in the first place. Yeah. Well, well and it's it's like okay, I'm just going to put this out there. Mm-hmm. Why I didn't get much sleep last night. <gasps> um, my oldest kitty cat, Doozer, yeah. passed away yesterday. She's 20 years old Doozer. or 97 in people years. Doozer. Now, I know. It's like, ha, ah, breathe, breathe, breathe. Yeah. Now, yeah. she was just fine yesterday morning. She was walking a little slow because, you know, 97 in people years or, you know, that's or in cat kitty years, cat yeah. years. Cat kitty years. cat years. Yeah. Uh, 20 years in people years, but 97 in kitty cat years. <laughs> You know, she's walking a little bit slower and everything, but Doozer was still there. The the body, the vehicle that she was using to motivate this this reality, she was still operating it. And it's like the little guy in Men in Black, you know, the little prince that got killed in Men in Black because the, the cockroach got him in the restaurant. Um, in any case, it's... That little guy is like the doozer spirit. When it left, the body just went and it was done. So in a way, we are physical because we are we are residing inside this meat suit. And this is what we're using to navigate this reality. But once we no longer wish to navigate this reality, once, you know, once we're ready to move on to the next step or whatever, we just you know it's like leaving a room you step out of the meat suit the meat suit collapses everybody goes oh they died okay the meat suit collapsed the meat suit's no longer functioning it's no longer functioning because the energy inside of it that is what you really are (laughs) vacated the premises so it no longer has that internal battery going the battery left has left the building went to disney world yeah, yeah, or to that universe where time goes backwards. Yeah, well, you what does know. it matter? But you know what the weird part about all this stuff is, is we can each have this personal experience and still try to tell other people how to judge theirs. Yeah. And I would I would assume that sounds to you know what I would do, what I do, but I, I don't think I physically do that. Voice in an opinion on a radio podcast because I can't. But as far as like enforcement or rules and regulations, the people I encounter already know what those rules are. And if they break them, they know that that's the end of that. So, hmm. yeah. There you go. That's how li- how simple life is for me. I'm just a dummy dumb hit. <laughs> Yeah, but see, you can make life as complicated or as simple as you want to. Depending on your playmates. True. Yeah. 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 I can find my friend Mischief and show you all kinds of shit. (laughs) I'm a, Yeah. yeah, I'm a mischievous kind of character. Yeah. And, you know, mischief is fun. So they say. Until you get busted for it. (laughs) Until they take your library card. Yeah, Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, so, uh, I know. Well, you know, it's all fun and games until someone loses a wiener ouch. in the barbecue grill. Well, I'm in gonna... the barbecue grill. Jeez, are you still there? I'm going to send Grimner this the notes for the show. Uh, we had, okay. yeah, I had fun chatting with you about. We talked about all kinds of weird shit tonight, today night. Yep, you know that. Yes, we did. And did yes, you know, we did. And did you know that neither one of us died of the coronavirus? I know. Boy, we barely made it. I don't know how we do this. I think I am going to have to, from now on, mm-hmm. carry a corona bottle with me wherever yeah. I go. Yeah. So that if I should decide to vacate this meat suit, mm-hmm. I will have a corona on me. Mm-hmm. And they can say it was because of the corona. Oh, very good. Yeah. Well, I think that says good night and see you next week, everybody. Yeah. Have an awesome Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Memorial weekend. And be safe out there. 
and remember, remember mm. what we know of the past mm. so that you don't repeat it. Uh. You really don't. Even the fun things you don't want to repeat. Uh. You know, reruns are rarely and remakes are rarely as good as the original. So, uh. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later, Gators. <laughs>